Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to draw floor plan using Smart Draw. Let's begin. Now, this is going to be part two of our Smart Draw series where we dive deeper into creating stunning visuals with ease. In part one, we cover the basics on how to navigate the Smart Draw platform and set up your account. If you missed that, make sure to check our channel for the part one of using Smart Draw. Now, today we're moving into something even more exciting, and of course, that is drawing a floor plan using Smart Draw. Okay, so whether you're designing a new space or planning a renovation, we will walk you through every step to bring your layout to life. Now, on our first video, we created a, a small document. Now, what we're gonna do is go back to the main homepage. So basically, this is the diagram that we have created in part one of using Smart Draw. I'm going back to the main homepage because here we're going to the sections of documents. All right. Now, on the recent templates, you can use residential floor plan and a lot more, but I am suggest you go to the new document. And of course, you can choose from any of the following. Now, you can choose from floor plans, which will give you this commercial floor plan, site plan, event plan, and office design, and a lot more. You can also choose a floor plans residential, right? Now, it's up to you where do you want to choose. Is it going to be residential or commercial? But if we choose the commercial, if you click on it, it would open a blank commercial floor plan, which is perfect for us to start from scratch and navigate to the essential tools that we can use to draw a specific floor plan that you have in mind. On the uh, Let's create a title, say, for example, how to draw. A floor plan, let's say for that. Now, the first thing is on the left side, we've covered in the past video the tools that you can choose. You can use select, shape, line, and text. But in this case, since we are creating from scratch, I highly suggest you click the add a wall. What will happen is you see that your mouse cursor is changing it to like a pencil icon or like a like a marker because you can create your first wall here right it would create a straight line depending on where do you exactly point the uh, draw you can continuously do that but you can't like you need to pause for a while so you can connect the intersections now you can also create a wall inside the wall like like a kind of like a divider if you do what will happen you see that there's going to be a circle as the point ends on the specific wall so this is going to be a room right this is the four corners are the room and these are going to be of the walls now for us to add another shape here click on it for example this one now for the shape you can drag him down on the corner depending on your preferences of course you have this circle inside that means you can rotate the drywall independently where do you want to place it now if you double click on it you can resize and you can put in as many as a drywall within the confines of your room you can place it here anywhere you want it now you see this symbol it's a very um important because if you click on it there's going to be libraries of symbols that you can add for example we're going to be using maybe um let's say a chair i want you to click on it add to library click and close now the for example we're going to be using the semicircular table you can drag it just around here the good thing about it is that you can adjust it depending on your preferences. For example, this is part of the drywall. You want to place it here. And you can put in a building outline. Next is if you wanted to, let's say, add a kind of like an outline here, you can interconnect it with the wall that you have created. 
you see if there's gonna be like a um like a same way tool on the corner for you to edit the shape and space because these are highly customizable depending on your objective right and then you also have an option for the furnished offices right here conference room doors and windows if you wanted to add doors and windows for example let's say this is going to be our um, revolving door we can drag it here the good thing about it is that you can put it outside the walls that we have created so i'm going to put it just around here as the entrance kind of like a like an x-men or something and then you can also put in another door for example i'm going to put in a garden window here let's say in this section i'm going to put it a, uh, a wall and of course you have the capability to increase the size relocate and whatnot all right you can be creative you're not limited with that you see the moment i choose to put it in a different uh place or a position it automatically drags the uh length of course you can put in say for example uh, another door right here maybe just around this corner you can adjust it if you want make it a little bit bigger connecting the extended room that we have created now on the symbol if you don't find like for example um, a mat you can find it just type it in if you can see fine all right for example let's say carpet you can see a carpet so there's no carpet so that means we our options are kind of limited don't worry since we have all that in place that's going to be page one if you want to create a new page from the template you can also do that insert a new page so that you can create now a floor plan for residential because we're using the commercial and that would open another residential floor plan which is kind of blank and you can start from scratching it again all right so you have now pages one and two page one is going to be for the commercial right here loading times may vary so make sure that you are connected to an active internet connection all right so it is going to be for the residential if you were planning to create more after the you are done with the uh, commercial floor plan and if you wanted to add a handicaps symbol here you can also do that or a globe depending on your preferences okay now again on our first video we mentioned that before you can share um print export any files here the uh, subscription plan is required otherwise you cannot move forward if we click the continue button what will happen is you can continue editing but if you click the buy now what will happen is it will be forwarded here and on the first video we mentioned that the uh, purchase smart draw plans are subdivided into three categories the individual which is nine dollars per 95 team is going to be 8.25 three user minimum and the enterprise so again before you can export and save your files here even share to your client if you're working in a collaborative environment you need to subscribe to the plan but the good thing about it is that it's free so you have the opportunity and time to immerse yourself with the very easy and intuitive uh, tools that you can use to create a floor plan from scratch in a very easy way okay so now again on the export if you have unlocked all the features you can export this to different uh, floor file types such as export for office visio pdf svg png jpeg and sdr which is the native file for smart draw and basically that's it for today's video on drawing a floor plan using smart draw thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one